understand this much according to the Ahlu Sunnah wal Jama'ah that the karama of awliya is haq. It is something which is established. Sometimes we may see a very un ajeeb act from someone extremely pious. What happened nevertheless? One famous, famous Imam of the past, a great jurist, a great faqih, a great muhaddith, and a great wali of his time, Hassan Basri alayhi rahma. At the same time when Hassan Basri was around, Rabi'a Basriya was around as well. She went to inquire of a masala, and they said that he was by the river bank, and that's where he would fulfill his daily adhkar. He had a set form of dhikr he would do, and he would prefer to go near the water. Now to her utter amazement, when she went nearby, Hassan Basri, alayhi rahma, the great scholar of the past, the great wali of the past, his musalla was not on the ground, rather he had placed it on the water and he was doing his ibadah there. Now what came in her heart was not an any negative thought to entertain a bad thought that this person is bad. But the true wali, what came in her mind is the true wali of Allah is that person who disguises himself. It's only him and Allah who knows that connection, nobody else. So to make them be this great scholar of the past, to educate him in a way how? What did she do? She placed the musalla nearby not on the ground, but she suspended it in part in the air. And she started making some salah on that and she said, this is no kamal. If something floats in the air, even the, the flies fly in the air. This is nothing of some kamal. On the water, you find fish. You find also dirt which comes and settles on the water. This is not kamal, Hassan. So Hassan Basri alayhi rahma took tanbi and took a lesson from this. Uh, he, he actually told his army, they were in Bahrain and, and they were in a battle and people had gotten across on a boat and he, he, they came to the water and Abu Ala told them, Amdu, Bismillah. And he led them and the horse went across the water and didn't go down. That's confirmed. We know that Nafi' uh, uh, ibn Uqba, when he went to Qayrawan, he, he, they needed the, uh, the forest they needed the, uh, the wood from the forest. So he shouted, Bi'ala sawtihi. Ya ayyuhal hayawanat. You know, all you animals, we need this forest. So we're asking you to give us your forest. They said for three days, they saw all of the animals making hijrah out of the forest. And then they cut down the trees to build Qayrawan. When Muawiyah heard that, he told them, I want to meet men from the army that saw that because he wanted to confirm that it was they were witnesses and they did. Now in the past from our ummah were such people of such magnanimity Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala had given such a status. So it is when in the Quran it mentions in the ahadith when it mentions about becoming a wali of Allah we never ever should have the thought in our minds that this is specific and only for man folk. Even a woman, she has the potential of becoming a wali of Allah as well. She also has that potential. <clears throat> Miracles are real and the karamat al-awliya are in order for you to understand the mu'jizat of the prophets because the mu'jizat, you heard about them but you didn't see them. But when you see the karamat of the awliya, when you see the, the, the saints with their miracles, then it, it, you know, it, it helps you understand that. And you know, Alhamdulillah, Bifadlillah. There, there are people here, I'm sure. But Bifadlillah, you know, I've seen these people that have, I've seen it with my own eyes. Wallahi.